this is Janice. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to groom Miss Rosie here. She's one of my Pomeranians and she needs a bath and blowout desperately. And what I wanted to start doing is have a series of how to keep your doggy beautiful in between professional groomings. I always advocate professional groomings when necessary. I am a retired professional groomer. I've been grooming, oh gosh, I'm 69. I started at 16. So <laughs> I, I did take some breaks now and then. But anyways, if you want to see my tips and tricks, how to maintain your doggies fur in between professional grooming, Please stay tuned. Today, she's not real thrilled about this, is she? She's hugging me. <laughs> she doesn't mind, really. She just, you know, it's a process they have to go through. And they do get used to it. So it's really advisable and encouraging for you to do it as often as you can so they get used to it. So I am at my kitchen sink. I don't have a professional setup here at my home. I do have a room where I can groom them, but I don't have a bathing room yet. I save my dishwashing bottles. I really like these for making dog shampoo. What I do is pre-make my shampoo and I do it as I need it. I don't do it ahead and let it sit because if you uh, make it ahead of time, let it sit for several weeks or days or whatever, it goes rancid, it gets slimy. Only way you could avoid that is if you use distilled water. So I make it as I need it. Also it's warm for them. And right now I'm using Quadrupet shampoo. It's 100% natural and organic. This is the protein concentrate shampoo. And I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and mix them in here. And you don't need a lot. This is actually, let's see, it tells you on the back what it should be. Well, yeah, it does. Mix one part shampoo, eight parts water. So I kind of guesstimate that. So I might have to add some more water to this. You don't need much. This is heavily concentrated and you should not use it on your pet full strength because it's, it's more harsh because it's made to dilute. I will link below in the comment section of some of the sites I recommend to buy shampoo for pets, but you can also get it at your local pet store. Okay, go ahead and put my water in here. As you see, I've got her restrained to the faucet. It's pretty heavy duty so I can handle it. And of course I have access to professional leads and restraints. All right, you always want to make sure your water is not too hot. Their normal temperature is 101. So you don't want to go anything above that. That maybe a little below. I don't really know how much. Just, just so it's warm. Because they can get overheated just from a very hot bath. I got a drip in here. Takes a minute, and how cute these things are. All right, being that sprayer is yucky, I'm gonna go ahead and just fill up some water in the sink. It's easy. It's kind of get her wet. It takes a while to get these guys wet. They're a double coated breed, so it takes a while to get them good and wet. Yeah. And she's going to enjoy this eventually. <laughs> And being my faucet doesn't work, or my sprayer doesn't work very good, I grabbed a tall cup to help me out. But I will use it a little bit. She's really overdue for this, aren't she, sweetie? And a lot of times, to help get them wet, this shampoo helps break down the oils, so the water will penetrate easily. Easily. So I'm going to just put a little bit on. And just massage it through. Another ideal place to do this is if you have a laundry room and have laundry 
sinks. Well, I used to, but this house doesn't have one. I need to put one in downstairs, but I just, like I said, we just moved a year ago. We're still doing upgrades. Or the wire in this house is crazy. We're trying to fix that. So it's just a matter of time and money. We have a shower down in the basement, and that's where I bathe my standard poodle. Uh, it's really easy to be there, there. I could these guys, but I don't like bending down. <laughs> so it's, it's a matter of my convenience and comfort. All right, just gonna start sizing her up. You just wanna gently massage. And the secret to a well-groomed pet is a very good bath. You wanna make sure they get good and clean. Okay, now this is like the main sudsing up. I at that first one was just to kind of break down her oils. And I do have tearless shampoo. This particular shampoo I am using is pretty safe, but this is tearless. So normally I do dilute this, but being I'm just doing her face and put a little tiny bit in my palm of my hand. Not much. That. Kind of wish it around like that. And just kind of massage it. Now this is real gentle, so it's not gonna hurt her. And if I get in her eyes, it should not hurt her. These guys don't close their eyes. And one of the main complaints of people getting their dog groomed is eye irritation from the shampoo. Nowadays, the shampoos are made very mild for the groomers, so that it's less likely to happen. But boy, oh, she was dirty because this water is grimy. Make sure you get all of the fur. Go ahead and release this water. I like to keep any water, so I just get nice studs up. See her? You want to get underneath their armpits, their chest area, their bellies, underneath the chin, your feet and your legs, your toes, every little neck and cranny. Now, I'm going to rinse it nice and thorough. I am going to use a cold conditioner on her. It's like a de shedder and conditioner. It helps loosen up her fur so I can get it blown out. So this is my conditioner. I pre-made this. I dilute this seven to one. And it is your Stel Quad Pet. And it's the Soapy Leave-In Conditioner. However, I'm not gonna leave it in. You can, but if you do leave it in, I would dilute it quite a bit more. You just want to be quite liberal with this. Get right to this skin. What this product does, it helps release the um, roots, the follicles, so it sheds out. And that's what we're trying to do here. We're, we're trying to depuff this dog, de shed, that's what a lot of groomers call it. I just my saying it's not depuff, but it's de. De-shedding, and you want to blow out all the undercoat so you don't have them getting tangled and um, you have less mess in your home, too. That's enough, that's all I really need. 
I'm quite generous because she is overdue and she's got some knots in here. Her neck here that I've got to work on. So we're going to be quite liberal. I'm going to turn her around here so I can get underneath. She says, I don't want to do this, Mama. Okay. Now, I'm going to massage that in for a few minutes. And um, so it does this magic. Oh, yes, I just wanted to tell you guys to. It's part of common sense, but then again, sometimes we don't think. It's just a strainer. It helps keep your the dog hair out of your um, out of your drain. Can't think today. <laughs> All right, that's been sitting on there for a few minutes. And I'm gonna go ahead and rinse that out. Now, seeing this. This is a leave-in conditioner. You don't have to be that thorough unless you want. I am because I'm gonna add in another spray conditioner that I really like for these guys. And it's by the same company, same brand I mean. Um, Quadrapad is called All-in-One. And I love that stuff. I swear by it. And I already have that made up in my other room, in the groom room, and I'll show that to you later. Now I have this on kind of lukewarm setting for the water because it helps with the um, soap release, releasing the soap. Also it helps the shedding for a stop. What it does, it closes up the, oh, what do you call it, hair follicles. Too, it's refreshing. So there is her bath. I've got her set up on my little island here with a towel. I'm gonna go ahead and just dry her up with the towel drying. I let it kind of sit here and absorb. And towel dry her. And then what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna grab her sister and get her baby. So I'm gonna put her in a crate with just a warm dryer with a, actually it's not a dryer, it's actually a fan, a blower. It's not really, it's not heated, what I'm trying to say. Just to kind of start the drying process. I am showing you the detangling spray. It's an all-in-one conditioner. It is a clear conditioner and it's a leave-in conditioner. I dilute this quite heavily. As you see, I'm showing you how much concentrate I put in the bottom. The rest is water. It's, you dilute this quite a bit. You do not need to put it on full strength or thick. And here is the bottle. I of Quadrapet all-in-one conditioner. This stuff does some magic. Not only does it help dry them a little faster, it detangles them and desheds them. It works by loosening up the hair follicles. It's just wonderful stuff. Here I'm just patting her dry some more. And there is a big mat behind her ear that I'm going to have to work on and this spray does help loosen that up so it's very painless. Here I go. I sprayed it on quite a bit, quite liberally and I'm, I'm massaging it in. <laughs> I'm kind of whipping around there aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, you got to get in there good, and she doesn't mind. She's such a good girl. She says, oh, Mom, what are you doing to me? And what I do is I spray this in and massage it in, and then what I'm going to do is let her sit in a crate for a little while so this absorbs and does its magic.
I'm just finishing up massaging the product in and she loves this massage. I want to remind everyone to please subscribe, smash that bell for your notification of the next part two is up which will be about drying and I will be hand drying, power drying to fluffer and de-shedder.